So as you guys probably already know, we moved into a new studio and the good guys over at LG were so kind enough to send over their 38 inch ultra wide monitor as a gift. So a huge thanks and shout out to them because that was very generous of them. Now, I am a big fan of ultra wide monitors. In fact, prior to having this, I already owned an LG 34 inch monitor that we are still using today. And it's actually over there you being used right now by Carlos. Now I'm gonna tell you why I think this particular 38 inch ultra wide is probably one of the best ultra wide monitors that you can buy today. We'll go ahead and start off with a quick tour around the back. And this is starting off with the IO. This comes with one display port. It comes with a USB type C, which I will touch on that in a second. And it has two HDMI ports and two USB 3.0 ports, which offers also quick charge, which if you have a phone and you wanna quickly charge that, it is a huge time saver, especially because you don't need a docking station or anything like that, which is awesome. The mount or the bottom base is actually articulating. You can move that up and down. You can move it side to side, forward and back. Very useful, toolless design, so you don't have to have any screwdrivers or anything like that. It is vase mount and you can easily remove it with a push of a button. So why do I like this monitor? Well, for one, it's almost 4K with a resolution of 3840 by 1600, which is pretty ultra wide, 21 by nine aspect ratio. So for me as a content creator, somebody who loves to edit videos, this is actually awesome because it gives me so much screen real estate that I'm able to see my whole entire timeline. I'm able to see my scopes, all of my effects panel, everything is just there. And on top of that, this is also Adobe over 99% sRGB. What that means is that it's color calibrated. So that means is that my colors are gonna be pretty accurate and spot on. So I don't have to worry about any color shifting. Like if I edit, what I see is exactly what I'm gonna get. And that was true even with my old LG monitor. And that's one of the reasons why we kept it and we are still using it today. Now, another thing I like about this particular monitor is that not only does it give you so much screen real estate, you are also able to what LG calls dual link setup. What that means is if I connect my new MacBook Pro with touch bar, I'm able to use a USB type C. Not only is it displaying to my monitor, but it's also charging with just one cable, which is pretty awesome. And I'm also able to do kind of what they call a picture in picture mode. So on the left side, I have Mac OS. And on the right side, I have Windows 10 running at the same time. So in terms of productivity, that is something that is very nice and I really enjoy it. Now, in terms of gaming, I'm not a hardcore gamer or anything like that, but sometimes Carlos and I do go into a little match. Now, this is actually a pretty decent monitor for gaming. It does support free sync if you're running an AMD card. Sadly, it does not do G-Sync, which I think most people probably use an NVIDIA card. I think most people are team green, but for what it's worth, you'll still be able to get 60 Hertz a refresh rate under display port. Again, if you're a hardcore gamer, probably not the monitor that you're gonna wanna get, but if you're somebody like myself who is a content creator and occasionally loves to game, it does a very good job at it. So another thing I actually do like about this monitor is the menu itself. It's very easy to use and it, the button itself is actually conveniently located under the LG logo, which is actually nice. All you need to do is push on that. From there, you can control the contrast, the brightness, the volume, and you can also turn things on like Bluetooth audio, which is actually very nice. You can use your smartphone to stream Bluetooth to your monitor, which is convenient. You can also turn quick charge on, and there's a couple of other things and tweaks that you can do, all very easy to use just with that one push of a button. Now the speakers themselves, they're located underneath, they are stereo, and they're actually pretty decent. Not bad for internal speakers. So as I said earlier, I'm a big fan of ultra wide monitors, the extra screen real estate, the fact that I can multitask, just in general, the over overall experience of it and the fact that it's slightly curved, it's very immersive, just a big fan. But I'll tell you what, if you do not own an ultra wide monitor, I would say don't get this one. You're probably wondering why, why would you not recommend? You just said this awesome monitor is awesome. I'll tell you this, I would start small. I would start with something like the 34 inch model, like the one I had before. In fact, you could actually pick one of those up for about 500 bucks used. Find out if you like the ultra wide type of monitor because it's not for everybody. I truly believe that it does take some time getting used to it. If you do like it, then this would be your end point. This is definitely the best ultra wide monitor that you can buy today.